आपको स्मांजली वर्स 83 हा नाप्त्री राधे तव सूर्य भक्ते काला समुत्पन्न इता कुतोसी इति वा रोशन मुकार लपंती सुदेवा किम मन माम सुखयिष्यति हा सो नाउ रघुनाथ इज कमिंग टुवर्ड्स द लेटर पार्ट ऑफ हिज बुक सो गुरुदेव डिस्क्राइब्स दैट द वर्सेस आरंट ऑलवेज इन क्रोनोलॉजिकल फैशन बिकॉज वैष्णवस लाइक सुखदेव गोस्वामी they're absorbed in swarasiki upasana that means they're always absorbed in deep absorption in krishna naam rup gun lila and then the past times manifest one after another in a stream and it's not like okay now krishna is in the morning now afternoon now evening it just whatever comes automatically then it flows through your heart so sukadev goswami in the bhagavatam all the past times aren't chronological so similarly here now raghunath is remembering again surya puja and already there was a verse about surya puja two three verses but here again he is remembering how mukara comes so ha naptri means natri means granddaughter so mukara comes in the morning from barshana and every day she comes to see shrimati radhika gurudev says that the grandmother sometimes shows more affection than one's own parents the grandparents show a special love for their grandchildren just like in bhakti param guru shows more affection to disciples than guru direct guru may chastise you but your param guru doesn't chastise he always has so much affection that's why we remember param guru de bhakti thakur bhakti santa propad and if gurudev chastises us very strongly then we can go and weep and beg forgiveness at, to gurudev but also to param gurudev and then param gurudev will definitely forgive us and then gurudev will be bound to accept us so mukara has so much affection even kirtida doesn't come every day to yavat but every day mukara comes and so she comes in the morning and says ha naptri radhe o granddaughter radhika the sun has already risen why are you still sleeping so radhika comes back from nishantalila in the kunj and she takes rest and then mukara comes and says already the sun has risen already chatila they're making cow dung patties already the cows are being milked you should quickly get up kala samutpana ita kutoshi don't you see what time it is the time to worship the sun has come so ragunath as rati mandri is praying when will i hear these words of mukara which are like nectar to my ears because mukara has so much affection especially when seniors are able to like strongly chastise us not even chastise but speak you know with some strong strong strength to us then this shows that they have accepted us if they're not willing to chastise us it means they haven't accepted us yet If Prabhuji will never chastise us, it means the relationship is formal. Like, for example, even when a, a new daughter is married into a family, the mother will not chastise the daughter-in-law; she'll chastise her own daughter. And through chastising her daughter, she teaches the daughter-in-law. So we pray, when will my fortune come? Here, Raghunath is saying, Mukara will speak in a strong way to Radhika. Oh, why are you still sleeping? You should get up. But she has so much affection for Radhika that she can even speak like this. that the time is late so actually surya puja is a great uh very special occasion for radhika and the mandris because it, at surya puja they're able to worship krishna in an indirect way but actually they're directly worshiping krishna just like when the brijabasis perform anukut they're worshiping giriraj but really krishna that won't say worship me but by engaging them in worshiping giriraj they're worshiping krishna this is not deva devi puja this is krishna puja So during Surya Puja Jatila will be there and Krishna will be there as the priest and Madhumanga will be there as his assistant they dress up as brahmins very beautiful brahmins Jatila cannot recognize them and Radhika is led in Surya Puja mantras so there's a Surya Puja mantra that Krishna chants sometimes he makes up different mantras that are indirectly with many hidden meanings about how he has relationship with Radhika how they're meeting with Radhika Krishna is very expert at he all the vedas come from krishna so krishna doesn't have to recite only verses from the vedas he himself is the personification of the vedas so krishna makes newer and newer verses and he makes jatila repeat so jatila will be chanting words that are indirectly saying how oh now i offer my radhika to krishna now she will always be with krishna in the kunj now i fully endorse this and they were use words like surya because Gurudev mentions that who is the Surya? Surya is one who gives life and energy, and ultimately this is Krishna. Without God, Krishna, who is Anadi Adi Govinda, 
then we cannot have anything. The Surya is getting energy from that same source. And also Surya is coming from Swarup Shakti Radhika. Bhargo Deva Siddhima, he means it's Radhika's power ultimately. He is not someone independent. And so externally Radhika, because it's in Braj, everything is Parakya. Everything is indirect in Braj. Everything is crooked. Prabhupada likes to say that if they say they're going left, they go right. They say one thing, they do something else. So in Braj, everything is crooked. Jamuna is crooked. Gurudev likes to say Krishna has crooked in three places, Tribanga. But Jamuna is crooked in hundreds of places. And Braj, everything is even more crooked. So they don't speak directly. Radhika externally, she has so much love for Krishna, desire to be with him. But when she's going to the Kun, she will turn back. And then Rati Manjari herself will pull Radhika's anshal and lead her to the kunj. And then Radhika will chastise Rati Manjari, saying, Oh, Rati, you have no chastity. You're pulling me by force to Krishna. And internally she wants to meet with Krishna, and yet still she speaks in this indirect way. So when they do Surya Puja, Radhika will take flowers. And she will worship. They have uh, like a murti or a mandir, or some kind of etching of Surya. And she will take the flowers to offer. But as she's going, she'll become shy because she understands the words Krishna is telling her to chant. That ultimately Krishna is saying, you are my beloved. And Jatila is also repeating because you have to repeat line by line. Like when we go to the Jamuna for Sankalpa, like Giri Prabhu, he will say, okay, on this day, in this Kalpa, I am offering this and this, and this is my name. So Jatila, everyone is doing this. Okay, I, Jatila, now I offer Radhika to Krishna. But everything is indirect. So Radhika, they've already done this all. And Radhika knows now that Krishna is playing like this. And so as she's going to offer the flowers, her hands start to shake and the flowers fall at Krishna's feet. And so then they're all smiling. And Jatila doesn't understand. She's very, even though Jatila is very crooked, her hair, Jatila means dreadlocks. So she's very crooked like this. But still, Krishna acts in such a way that even Jatila cannot understand. So Surya Puja is a very sweet pastime because Radhika gets to meet with Krishna in, in this kind of indirect way. And afterwards, Jatila herself tells Radhika that you should give your ring to Krishna. So it's like in, in our culture, we have this for marriage, you exchange rings. So after the puja, Jatila says, oh, you're such a nice Brahmin. You're, she sees he's a very beautiful young boy. So she's also attracted to him. Jatila is also attracted to Krishna. But her attraction manifests through her kind of interesting personality. But she's also attracted. That's why the gopis tease her. Lalita teases her in Javat. When they, Jatila so sometimes comes into Radhika's room without announcement. And she says, I smell Sham. And then Lalita will say, oh, you're always thinking Sham, 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 Sham. And you definitely met with him yourself. That's why you smell his fragrance. You're just remembering your pastimes with him. And you're not chaste yourself, so you're always blaming other people. Prabhuji likes to say, Kama Vyakti, Kamaya Jagat. If you're a lusty person, you think everyone else is lusty. So they tell Jatila, you're always thinking of Sham, always attracted to Sham. You're an old lady, but you haven't given up your nature and you're always like lusting after this Sham. And so you're trying to project this on us. And so they tease her like this. So Jatila is also attracted to Sham. And so even though she cannot recognize him, he's dressed as a very simple Brahmin, Brahmin thread, and he's disguised himself very expertly. This is one of the arts, how to disguise oneself, right? So she says, oh, we have to give you some gift. Krishna says, no, I won't take any uh, remuneration. I won't take any benefit from you. I am a sulka das. I am unpaid. But she says, if we don't give charity, then the yagya will not be successful. If you have a Brahmin priest, he does a yagya for you, or puja for you, and you don't give donation, then you'll get an opposite result. You have to give something. So she tells Radhika, give your anguti, your ring. And so Radhika is very shy. She says, I won't give. She says, no, you have to give. She says, I won't give my by own hand. So she takes it and gives to Jatila. Jatila herself gives Krishna. And then Krishna says, I won't take. And he gives to his assistant, Madhu Mangal, and he puts in his dhoti. Afterwards, Madhu Mangal gives. And then Krishna reads Srimati Radhika's hand. And he says, I won't touch her hand, but Jatila asked him, can you read her hand? And so she, Krishna will read Radhika's hand. And in this way, he gets a chance to glorify Radhika. How she is like more glorious than Lakshmi. She is like a transcendental Devi. 
you should always respect her, always honor her. So he glorifies Radhika to Jatila, and in this way they perform Surya Puja. Okay, so we'll go to the next verse. Radha Radha, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel down there. Share with your friends, ask a question in the comments, and check out our website, creepa.tv, for courses to support us and for our articles and more. Adibo.